Grimger. Seven years ago, he and his family moved from the highlands of Scotland to farm the rough but beautiful Lake District Fells. Hundreds of tourists visit the Keswick area each year, and like many farmers, Derek is involved with conservation, working closely with the National Park and English nature to protect the moors. In spite of Derek farming over 800 Swaledale sheep, during the last three years, wool prices have plummeted and their income from sheep halved. To run the farm, Derek relies heavily on the whole family, and thankfully his two sons, Innes, 14, and Lee, 13, are always willing, whilst others, it seems, would rather spectate. Derek and his wife have used all their entrepreneurial skills to subsidise their income. Helen runs a bed and breakfast business and enjoys painting plates. These they sell at the sheepdog demonstrations that Derek holds locally. Their daughter Rachel loves mixing with the animals on the farm, which they have now opened up to the public. We try not to have it as a farm zoo. We want it as a proper working farm where people can see and can talk to me about the farm and, and I show them the sheep and the different breeds and talk about what happens on the farm and where they are at certain times of the year. One, one of the, the first uh, groups that came to the farm, the little boy came up and said, I've never ever seen a real farmer, never ever spoken to a real farmer before. They're absolutely fascinated. It was really, really rewarding. Derek's pride and joy are his six dogs. The farm's success depends upon their versatility and as always, they're great companions. Dogs have been a part of my life right from the start. More and more they've come to the foreground of what I'm doing. I spend quite a lot of my time thinking about dogs and, you know, and breeding dogs and selling dogs and training dogs and, you know, as, as well as the farm work. They're just nice to work with, you know, it's, it's a lovely feeling to have a dog sort of working with you in harmony and partnership. Uh -huh. And in trialling, harmony and partnership are certainly the keys to success. Remembering his first trial 20 years ago, Derek feels he's come a long way. I got a dog and uh, I read a book and I trained the dog according to the book and uh, I got him trained to the standard that I thought was needed and I entered a local sheepdog trial. Uh, I'd never been to see a trial before, <laughs> just entered a trial and turned up with my dog and uh, ran it and uh, I got all the gates and got them penned and got them shed and when I went to get my points I was really disappointed because I was only left with half the points. And what I didn't realise was that you've got to keep the sheep in straight lines and it's all got to be controlled. That, that was the first one. Since then, Derek has learnt a lot from trialling and also from the many dogs he's bred and trained. For today's competition, he's chosen to run Meg. Meg is the five and a half year old. I use her for my everyday work on the farm. She's definitely a one man dog. I've had her three years now and uh, she's settled down and we work quite well together now. We understand each other, I hope. Derek Scrimger, a Scotsman now living in England, quickly established himself in the Lake District and gained a reputation as a skillful man with a collie dog. On the trials field, he's had considerable success. He's a modest man who earns the respect of sheepdog handlers wherever they meet. Sheep are on the way out. The Meg is set for a right hand outrun. She's going well. She's on the inside of the cross drive gates, but going out towards the outside fence. Looking inwards as she goes. Eighteen points, two points lost. Well, those are flank whistles that Derek's giving. Ten points, maximum points for the lift. Where did he make? Where did he make? But Meg hadn't covered the sheep properly, and in fact, Derek has gone on to word commands because she wasn't covering the sheep over on the left-hand side. Sheep are now through the gates, but there's one lead Where sheep Where that's Where starting Where to go Where off to the to the left hand side and now it's swinging back to the right. 
They're gathering speed. Bye, Meg. Meg's quite Bye, a distance Meg. back. There's going to be a wide turn here. Bye down. Bye he down. may well lose a few points. Stand. 17 Stand. out of the 20. Just Bye the three down. points lost. Stand. Bye, Meg. Stand. Stand. Away to me, Meg. Away to me, Meg. Lie down. Derek's trying to line the sheep up. Put them on a straight course for the first drive games. They're still zigzagging. We should just see the back of the sheep, not the side of the sheep as they go away from us. Meg's not responding immediately to every flank whistle that she's given. Oh, and there she goes again. It's a late reaction. The sheep have turned, they're going fast and they're going wide. The judges are going to have to penalise her at this point here. Lie down. They're towards the gates now, a little bit on the low side. Meg's moving round to cover. They're going at quite a speed, they're still low but turning into the gate. Meg has got a long way to go now to try and get round and turn Bye, those Meg. sheep sharply. And it's another wide turn. Way, Meg. Way, Meg. Time now. In fact, Bye, Derek's Meg. having to run to the back of the trailer Way, now in case the sheep come very quickly Bye, past. Time now. Keep away, Meg. Lie down. 18 points for the drive, 12 lost, Derek will be disappointed. A defiant you. It could be tricky to keep these sheep calm and get them into the trailer. Lie down, lie down. But they've done it, they've done it very well. Stay there, Meg. That's it, watch the sheep. The sheep are set for coming out, but they're quite conscious of Derek being there, so he's going round to the back. And have they come nice and steady. Well, Derek goes to shut the trailer door. Meg will be taking them towards the shedding room. Ten out of ten maximum points. There's Simon Moss, last week's winner. And Derek running to the ring to make sure the sheep don't get out of the ring before he gets there. Lie down. Come on, Meg. Now lie down. Now he's looking for that collared sheep. And she's going off the end. Here, Meg, Things look good. Come by, come by, but come she's by, coming come back. Come oh here, dear. Here, 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 Meg, Meg. Two sheep have come together. The other sheep are out of the ring by the time Meg has taken the single. The judges have not accepted it. It'll all have to be done again. This is bad news. Derek does look disappointed. Come on, Meg. Where? Meg? Lie down. Bye, Meg. Way, Meg. Way, Meg. Good dog. Good dog. So the sheep are back Way, in the shedding ring, Lie down. but Derek Lie knows down. that he won't have a full ten points to play with. Bye, Meg. Lie down. The Lie sheep Lie is down. on the right-hand side at the moment. She's turning in. Bye, Meg. Will he get her at the Lie other Meg. end? Way, yes, Lie he's Lie calling Lie her in. Bye, Meg. And this Lie time Lie it's okay. Way, Meg. Bye, Meg. Derek still looking rather on, Meg. disappointed. Steady. Only two points out of a ten. He'll be on, really Meg. disappointed. Come by, Meg. Come by, Meg. And so the sheep approach the last part of the course, which is the pen. Lie down. Way, Meg. Way, Meg. Away from Meg's got a long way to go to come round to cover these sheep. Come by. Lie down. She's giving plenty of room, but the sheep Come are facing by. in towards the pen. Come on, Meg. 
A little down. bit anxious, but one's coming Lie in. Down. It's quite inquisitive. It's going to Lie lead down. the others in. Come on, Meg. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Tell and Meg. a successful pen. <laughs> ten out of ten maximum points for the pen. Eighty-five points in total. Points were lost mainly on the drives. And Derek will be most upset Meg, with the Meg. first shed, which was not accepted by the judges. I feel for him. It was a very unlucky run. Derek, what, what happened uh, in the shedding ring? Uh, she, uh, she, took, she came in to take the call her sheep. When I asked her to come in, there was another sheep moved. So I didn't know what to do, but I, she was watching the sheep I'd asked her to watch, so I just asked her to keep watching it. And she took, came in and she did take it, and the other sheep went back. But uh, it was just a dubious point whether the judges would accept it or not, and you know they didn't, so that's fair enough. But uh, was it your it, fault, the dog's fault, or the sheep's fault? It was just one of those things, I think. You know, it was very difficult to judge. I was thinking, really, it was. One, I knew when I asked her to come in, it would be a dubious point whether it would be accepted or not. But I saw that my dog did have her eye on the sheep that I'd asked her to, so I just kept asked her to hold on to it, which she did. But uh, it's one of those. You're a bit, bit out of path. Ah, <laughs> I think that was running from the trailer to the shed ring. Was it? If I'd known what was going to happen, I wouldn't have been in such a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> He's not fit. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much, and thank, thank you, you, Meg.